Hello fellow AluminumAlloyBoats.com members. This is the long awaited uh, chum chopper footage. This is my boat, Jetty Wolf. And this is the chum chopper. Okay, see how it all works here. Eight inch tube. I'm using the braid, Dennis braid chum chopper. Actually goes down in here. Goes down and pulverizes everything. There's a bunch of holes down in there. Okay, there's the weld job. Looking good. And then the meat and potatoes of everything is down here. It was a tricky thing. I wanted to have enough room. So if I ever have to get in here to the trim tabs and the series of holes, there we have none back here, just what's exposed to the open water. And of course, a pattern of holes at the bottom. And there you go. It's welded right through the swim platform. Call me an Aussie. This is what I've seen on Australian boats and I just had to have it. Many, many moons in the planning here. So for my fishing, this can be the difference between having the troll around or just bring them to me. All right, so that's it in the swim platform. And I'll get up in the boat and show you how it kind of works. Alrighty, members, I hope you can see me. I'm up on the boat now. Let me show you what I used to do. Throw it over the board. Throw it overboard. Or, since I got these Keep Alive live wells that I can move around, I used to sit here like this. Cut bait. Throw it over the side. Now, no more of that. Step over here to the corner. Pour in a five gallon bucket in there, pogies, what we call pogies, they're actually referred to as menhaden, uh, that we cast net behind the surf here in Florida, and uh, pour in a bucket, reach over, mash this, I'm using this existing handle because I didn't have another one, I guess I, I could have a longer handle. This is only PVC, so maybe I can extend it. Mash this up. Mash, 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 mash. Boat bobs up and down. Stink goes on out behind the boat. So, that's about as good as I could get it. I got this rigging tube right here. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to push on that too hard. Um, nice thing about this is... It's like super heavy duty. And at the end of the day, I take my saltwater wash down, I kind of wash it out, take my fishing rags, put a little soap on it, throw them in there, haul ass back to the dock, reach down in here, pull out my fishing rags, my towels, my, my terry cloth towels, and now they're all clean. And this can just sit there and it's really going to work out for me, let me tell you. It's going to be a lot better than this. Standing at the cutting board. Chop, chop, chop. Cutting them into pieces. And like I made I mentioned on one of my posts, a buddy of mine has the Dennis Braid Chum Chopper mounted to his flat transom. He starts out the day with a half a box of squid down in the bottom there, and he calls it his pulp. And it stays down in there pretty much all day, just getting chopped up into fine pieces, and then he puts the bait fish on top of it. So, there you go. Long awaited.